Well, I'd always promised myself that when I was no longer spending you know, 10, 12 hours staring at a computer screen, that yeah. it would be the time to do something about it. Okay. And the added catalyst of knowing that I'm not going to be somewhere terribly hygienic with access to the optician or you know, that kind of facility. Yeah. It was an added, an added push towards it. Okay. Um, a few years ago, I was travelling in Mozambique and just had glasses and contact lenses, and somebody crept into the room and trolled on my glasses and broke the lens. And I had the rest of the next month travelling around with broken glasses, so that was oh, <laughs> something no. I wasn't that keen to repeat. Um, I will be literally in the middle of nowhere, probably living in a tent, um, with, if I'm lucky, if there's running water. Um, so I definitely didn't want to, to be worried about it. And, and I mean, the job I'm going to be doing eyesight pretty important. I mean, quite frankly, if you walk through a minefield, you need to see where it's safe and where it's not. But absolutely, to be able to rely on it so I, so I can be out in, in the middle of nowhere and, they say, it's lack of hassle, not worrying, even the hygiene side of things. You know, you don't want to take your contact lenses out with dirty hands if you haven't got access to proper no. water and washing facilities. No, no. Um, and I've got friends who have been out in Afghanistan and places like that, and they, if they've got contact lenses, they've all come back with scratches on their eyes just from the hygiene situation where they are. Yes. So definitely, you don't want to muck around with your eyes, so you no. want to look after no. them. No. Um, I lived just down the road, so I was very familiar with the clinic how you just walked past it. So that name sprang to mind when I sort of got into my head, it was getting something to do. So obviously went online, as we all do, looked at various reviews, looked at people's experiences. Um, didn't, when all the pop-up ads for the, you know, do this for £3.50 came up, thought, well, that's not really something you want to deal with when it's your eyes. And all the feedback I saw and the, and the reviews were incredibly positive. Um, so then thought, you know, well, go and see if it's possible. So come down here and get talked through it, and all went from there. It's, I mean, it's rather nice just having everything happen so easily. Mm. So from having phoned up on probably a, a Tuesday, said, are there any appointments? I said, absolutely, when do you want to come in? So went incredibly smoothly um, and felt like I wasn't being rushed at all. Mm. Felt like I could ask the stupid questions and you know, that was fine. Yeah. Um, and again, being able to book it, I mean, I'm <laughs> quite a decisive person, so what I decided to do is, right, absolutely, go ahead. So I was here having operations a week later. Um, so that was great. You Brilliant. know, imagine it would be okay now. Schedule it for. Do I have enough time? But uh -huh. it happened so fast. Um, I've got. I had an astigmatism and was short sighted. Mm -hmm. So one eye was about minus three. One was about minus three point seven five. So uh -huh. enough that I could get around without bumping into things. But yeah. I would happily ignore a friend on the other side of the road. That kind of thing. <laughs> and what is your prescription now? I think now one eye is sort of 20-20, whatever the technical term is, and the other I think is about minus 0.5. Mm -hmm. um, so in real terms, I'm probably as good as I was with contact lenses or better than I was before. I suppose that the simplest thing is in the morning getting out of bed and being able to see straight away. So not having to scrabble around and, and sort of do anything or take out your contact lenses last thing at night. Yeah. But just in practical terms, being able to do sport without thinking about it, um, yes. just getting out and, and not worrying is... is Fantastic, and not having to plan, you know, are you going away, contact lens solution, oh dear, it's leaked all over the suitcase, you can't wear your contact lens, you know, it just takes hassle that you never really realised you were coping with and gets it, get us thoroughly rid of it. My eyes got quite dry, so if I was wearing them for a long time or concentrating on something, I would notice they'd be dry and itchy and scratchy, so we'd yeah. have to think, okay, I'll take them out, put on glasses, and, and I don't look good in glasses, I mean, <laughs> not many of us look our best in glasses. So just not having to think about all of that is fantastic.